Good morning, Seafried. Results of the USDA November uh, crop report. I guess most people would say they basically, on the demand side of things, just waited maybe another 30 days to see if the Ukraine export corridor is open, if uh, Russia starts uh, shipping grain and fertilizer, and uh, another 30 days of South American weather. But uh, basically, uh, they raised the U.S. corn crop 43 million bushels to 13,930. At the same time, they raised food and residual 25 million bushels, which raised the corn cow at only 10 million bushels from October. Over in the beans, the crop was raised to 4,345, up 30 million bushels. They raised the crush 10, which increased the carryout to 220 from 200. Uh, over in the wheat, carryout was lowered to 571 due to a 7 million bushel increase in food demand. Globally, uh, wheat ending stocks unchanged, 267.5, corn down slightly at 300.7, and wheat up almost 2 million tons at one, uh, soybeans at 102.1. Beans were down 6 cents, corn 3, Chicago wheat down 12 cents. They left the Russian crop at 91 million tons, Argentina corn at 55, Brazil corn at 126. They did lower the Argentina soybean crop from 51 to 49.5, but left the Brazil soybean crop unchanged at 152. We did see Conad come out earlier and said the crop may be closer to 153.5. So not a lot of uh, changes by the USDA. Uh, beforehand, the market was concerned about demand. Um, I think the midterm elections, you're seeing stocks lower because it wasn't a red wave. And we'll have to see just uh, what gridlock in Washington means uh, to future uh, policy changes. Watching interest rates to see how much that impacts uh, the global economy, U.S. economy, and then uh, what the increase in cases in COVID means to China uh, demand. So again, at 14.40 um, uh, and the beans, I think that that might be just a little bit high if South America has a good crop. 1380 is support. 670 uh, also might be a little high for the corn. 650 is support. 835 in the wheat's getting close to support. Um, we had heard that in the option side uh, that uh, traders were buying soybean calls all the way up to the 15 strike price. Uh, they were getting out of their long corn calls and buying puts. And in wheat, they're trying to hold on to their wheat call positions. But a trade below $8 in the December would probably liquidate some of those positions.